is a field guide, field guide. So that's, as the title of the video is Corporate Hugging, a Field Guide. Um, so a field guide is a very kind of like scientific book almost for um, naturalists, people who maybe go out into nature. And it's a book that has very detailed descriptions of plants and you know, animals, usually like birds and small animals, and you can go out into nature and match the picture and get information about a certain kind of bird or plant. That's what a field guide really is, but it's often kind of used in a joking manner, like jokingly to something that's not as serious, like hugging. So this is a field guide to hugging. Uh, so this guide in the video, it's not very detailed, right? It's kind of just a silly little guide about hugging, but they're calling it a field guide, so it's kind of funny, like, using a very serious scientific book name for something that's not very serious. So, that is a field guide. Um, you can see things like field guides for dating or, you know, field guides for talking to women or something, you know, they're just a word used for that kind of basic guidebook for something. Number two, foster is just to help something develop or grow. Um, a lot, mostly in English, I see this with like foster homes and foster children. So um, foster homes are a place for children who have kind of trouble growing up. Maybe their parents have some kind of problem and they can't raise their child correctly. So they send them to a foster home. And this is a special home where they can help them develop and grow into better people, adults in society. So usually in English, that's where you see foster, foster home or the foster children in a foster home. But to foster, where that word comes from, just means to help grow, help develop. Um, number three, taxonomy is the science of classification. This is a very scientific word, again, uh, usually used in, I guess, biology for classifying organisms, like the names of various organisms. So, again, it's kind of a joke to use a very scientific uh, kind of field to talk about hugging, the taxonomy of hugging. So. There's a Seattle attorney in the video, Aaron Goldstein, and he takes managers through the taxonomy of hugging. So he classifies each kind of hug very scientifically, but it's not really scientifically. So again, it's kind of a joke. Um, number four, go to. This is something that's trusted and reliable. So I used the example that my Maybe my mother would be a go-to person for getting advice. She's my go-to person for advice. And that means she's like the most reliable person and I can go and talk to. Um, other examples can be like your, your go-to uh, date spot. If you go on many dates, maybe you know a perfect date spot. So that's your reliable place to take dates. Or everyone might have their go-to hangover cure. So you can even, probably you can Google go to hangover cure, cures and there will be a list of people's like advice what you should eat or do after you have a hangover. So go to just describes that kind of thing that you always go to when you need help or need advice. Number five, no dice is an idiom that just means no, not possible. Um, something cannot happen, will not happen. It's just kind of slang, English slang, to say no. Um, you know, your friend might ask you for something, and like, oh, can I eat your leftover pizza? And you say, no dice. Like, can't do it. You're not eating my pizza. Is it the same as no way? It's, yeah, exactly the same as it. No way. Yeah, that kind of thing. No dice. Why dice? I don't know the origins of this. Because dice, of course, are the gambling yeah. dice and no chance no chance there we go oh. John he solved it <laughs> no chance yeah <laughs> meaning you know, we don't have you know, dice to throw mm -hmm. so 
then we just, you know, no chance. Yeah, no chance, can't play, right. Great. In a real competition, you can use, I mean, we can use this, like, no. Mm. Yeah, just no way. Not possible. Not going to happen. When I, If I would ask my dad to borrow the car for the weekend, he would always say no dice. He would use this exact expression. I think his generation used this a lot, this expression. No dice. I think some people do. It's just not as common these days. So, like, after you lend me some money, like, five million won, then... <laughs> right. Um, okay, number six, harassment. So harassing someone is bothering someone, the act of harassing. Um, and this is most common in like the workplace in the form of maybe sexual harassment. So they talk about with hugging, you have to be very careful about sexual harassment because uh, it involves bodies touching, so you have to be very careful. And um, HR and things, they're always dealing with problems of sexual harassment. We'll talk a lot about that later in the lesson. F various forms of touching that are inappropriate between coworkers. And number seven, embrace is just another word for a hug, holding someone close or tightly. It's a more, more um, formal way of saying hug. Mm -hmm. So any questions then about these seven words?